In this video, we'll explain how to create a still cold form section table with Atir softwares. As we all know, cold form steel is commonly used for construction worldwide. The following picture is an example of a truss made out of cold form steel beams. We will use Atir's CrossSec software to create the sections and the sections table. CrossSec is directly linked to Strap, but can be operated as a standalone software. To open CrossSec from the models list in Strap, go to Utilities and Compute Section Properties. We can see that we moved to CrossSec and we get a blank sheet to define our section. When creating a section in CrossSec, we'll have to choose between two section types, a line section or a solid section. Line sections are defined by lines. For each line, the user will be able to define the line width, usually used for cold form sections. Solid sections are usually used for concrete sections. For our cold formed section example, we'll choose a line section. We'll name our section metallic. We'll set our screen dimension to 150 and our line section thickness will be set to 2 millimeters. The inside band radius will also be 2 millimeters. Now let's start the section definition. On the right side of the screen we can see the section shape will create. We will start our section definition from an arbitrary position on the screen. On the bottom left of the screen, we can see our cursor position. Left click on our mouse will set the start point of our section definition. Now, we can choose to move our cursor with our mouse to the next position or to use the coordinates prompt line. We'll use the coordinates prompt line. Drag the cursor towards the prompt line while pressing the left key on your mouse. Enter 14.5 for DX. For the rest of our section definition, we'll use our arrow keys on our keyboard. Before we continue, we'll change the step size on the bottom right corner of the screen. The F4 key on your keyboard will decrease the step size. We'll set the step size to 0.5. The next segment in our section we'll have the coordinates of dx equals 0 and dy equals minus 33. Clicking enter on your keyboard will end the segment definition and will continue to the next segment. The next segment coordinates are dx equals minus 14.5, dy equals minus 8. The next segment coordinates are dx equals 0, dy equals minus 40. Next will be dx equals 34.5, dy equals 0. The next segment will be dx equals 5, dy equals 4, The next segment, dx equals 5 and dy equals minus 4. Now we'll define the rest of the section, which is symmetrical. Double click on the enter key will end our section definition. We can see and review the line section we defined. We can display the section properties. For example, the center of gravity, 
and the shear center of our section. We can also display the dimensions, as we saw earlier on. In Properties table, we can see all the geometry properties of the section. Now, we will create a section table for strap based on our section shape. Go to Section Table, Create a Table. The next window will allow the user to set the section table name. For our example, we'll leave the name Metallic. We can see that a section dimension table was created. The table contains all dimension values of the section and of course the section name. We can see dimension parameters from A1 to A16. In a case like ours, when a section is symmetrical around the vertical axis, we can go to Equal Dimensions. Clicking A16 and then clicking A1 will create an equal value for these two segments. We can see that both segments are now called A1 and share the same value. In the same manner, we'll continue for the rest of the symmetrical segments. Now, when we'll create a table, we'll have only 8 dimension parameters to enter. We'll enter a section name, 20820. We can review our section properties and revise them if we like, or we can create new sections in our table. Let's define a new section and name it 21120 and enter all parameters of our new section. In this example, both sections will share the same parameters besides the height measurement. A5, instead of 40 millimeters, will be 70 millimeters for this section. We can see the data for our new section. In the same manner, we can go on to define more sections in our table. To display a specific section from the table, we'll need to highlight the section number and select Make Current. Now, we'll transfer the section table we created in CrossSec to Strap. Go to Section Table, Transfer to Strap. In the Transfer a Table to Strap window, we can choose the table we would like to transfer and the section dimension units. After clicking OK, we get a message. The two sections were added to Strap cold form table. When transferring a section table to Strap, the program assumes that the section is cold formed. Let's move on to Strap. Open up a model and go to Section Definition. Select an empty property slot, one in our case, and go to the steel table. At the end of the list, we can find our metallic table. Clicking the table will open it up and display the sections that are available. Let's choose 
A20 for property number one. Let's render our model. And we can see our sections. For this example, we'll change the major axis direction. From this point on, the analysis for this model is identical to any steel structure. After loads definition and model solution, we can move on to the design stage in the steel post processor. In the steel post processor module, we'll have to choose a code for the design of our cold form sections. For this example, we'll use Eurocode, define our steel grade, and compute. Let's ask for detailed results for one of the beams with property number one. We can see our section name with all of its properties and all the design results. Thank you very much for watching.